Okay, we live. Um, some bullshit is happening with the TV. Uh, I gotta, uh, fuck it, fuck it. Just let me, ch let me choose the HDMI input. You piece of shit. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. Just the need to pretty things and a couple more seconds. Hey Annie Fred. Okay. What the fuck? Why did this happen? All right. We set up. We get. We ready. We ready to play. The next one. It's the next one. Let's go. Uh, let me think. Let me think. It's two seconds in. Let's just do this one. Um, I'm thinking I should, I should do the same thing I did last time and speed run to the end. The only thing is, I feel like this game is a lot longer than Ratchet and Clank 2, so maybe that would be a bad idea. But I'm gonna try it anyway, just to see the the, uh, the difference. I'm just gonna speed the fuck through and be a bit like, yeah, you know what? Speed run. Greetings, client nine one eight zero two, and welcome back to the Solana Galaxy. Oh, thank you. These must be the Galactic Rangers. Yeah, they should be the Galactic Rangers. Oh yeah. The shock blast is so much more satisfying than the the other thing because it fires a more concentrated blast further forward. Oh yeah, games. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna fucking destroy things. I'm running through as fast as I fucking can. Target your weapon. Hello, hello. We're doing We're doing the speed run. We're doing the fastest possible Ratchet and Clank 3 that I've ever done. Can it be done? Probably. I mean, obviously I could probably play it uh, like the fastest I have ever done. The fastest anyone has ever done? No idea. Absolutely impossible, in fact. Thank you. So skipping all the cutscenes, just running through, no, don't even worry about bolts, don't even worry about fucking anything. Just do the, the game as fast as possible. New Game Plus, Bolt Multiplier. 
Uh, hell yeah. Then we will play the game like we did in Ratchet Clank 2. I'm psyched. I'm super pumped. Um, I love video games. Ah, oh, the music's so fucking good. Oh, I love Ratchet Clank. Oh my god, I love Ratchet Clank. Frosty, huh? What about... Fuck you. Wait. Gadgets. Thruster pack. Ah, oh, that's not a thing. Doesn't matter. I don't really know what my goal is. I assume it's just to kill everything and then win. Waste those tyrannoids! Waste those tyrannoids! Sir, Rur. I like this idea. I want to see if I can remember any of these except for the sick ass final weapon that rains down lasers. Any of these weapons? I mean, I definitely remember the, uh, the thingy. The thing I can get right now if I have the money. The this. Plasma whip. I remember loving that. Oh, and that's the blaster weapon. Yes. Max out ammo. Love that shit. Okay. I'm very close, actually, to the plasma whip. Let's just kill a few fucking things. Your controller can be configured with multiple buttons. Shut up. Shut up. So we're deliberately not going to worry about stuff like this. Jackpot crate multiplies all bolts and experience gained for a limited time. Yes, yes, very awesome and epic and great. Right, well, if I die, I can buy the plasma whip. If I don't die, I will just use this all the way through the level. Shit. One hitch point. He's got like that weapon. To perform a high jump, hold R1 and press X. I didn't even need to do that shit. Hmm hmm. Oh shit. By jumping onto it and pressing X until you reach the top. Alright, there we go. Now I can buy this. To throw your whip, hold R1 and press circle. I think this is the way to go. It looks like it. Oh, fuck are you! The whip's really cool, but it's 
not that good of a weapon. Actually, it's pretty good. It's basically the same thing as, like, the... Uh, the, uh, thing. What am I thinking of? The lava... gun? Are you fucking kidding me? How much health am I supposed to be having already? I mean, I know I'm, like, haphazardly blash dashing through everything, but, like... Should have had this. Your armor and wrench attack have been greatly increased for a limited time. To jump between walls, jump, then press X in midair while next to a wall. The problem with speedrunning is that you go too quick. The walk of something, the path of death, the path of easy. This has strong Crash Bandicoot vibes, mostly just because of the w instruments being used in the music. Tap L1. But it also has a lot of Jack and Daxter vibes with the uh, the way the platforms are colored. I don't know, it has somewhat of a Jack 2 feeling. Boom. Level up. Your weapon has upgraded. Weapons upgrade automatically when they're used frequently. Hold circle to charge up the shock blaster for a more powerful attack. Yeah, should have looked a little bit more about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. And I got experience for that. That's good. Bosses give you stuff this time. This is entirely new to me, and what a cool whip! Yeah, bro. Uh, it's probably not the best way to experience Ratchet Clank 3 for the first time, because I'm going to be skipping all the cutscenes and speeding my way to the end so I can get New Game Plus, like I did last time. I keep saying that, but that's all I have to say right now. So I'm going real quick. Okay, world map, yeah, I gotta... I gotta bring Captain Quark to his quark Captain Quarters. These are your quarters. I set up the VG-9000 to play Vidtomic discs. Whoa! This is the VG-9000 game system. If you have a vid comic, you could play it here. Need a vid comic. Great. Meet me on the bridge. Mm, I'll meet you on the bridge. Press 
triangle. Press triangle. Yeah, the cool fucking plasma whip. Um, I remember this so vividly because I had this idea before the game came out. Like, there was literally a, like, Ratchet and Clank, um, come up with a new weapon idea, and I came up with a, like, a lightning whip. And, uh, it was, like, in a magazine, so I doubt, like, it actually got back to them. If it did, that's funny, but I didn't get credit or anything. I didn't win, like, a competition. So it was probably just a coincidence, because it's a really cool idea, like, a whip made of lightning. Fly to market. But like it was like I saw the whip in the game and I was like, they that's my idea. Oh my god. Oh, oh the thing I came up with is real. And I was very happy. Glad you made it! Glad you made it, motherfucker! Let's go kill some aliens! It was always a bit weird though, because like, using ammo on this whip is to... Enemies hit quite hard early on. Inferno power! I'm so fucking strong right now! Oh wow, do that to an artist today and you'll see them on Twitter. I mean, I, don't, I sincerely doubt they actually saw it. It, like, it was just like some magazine that wasn't even a PlayStation magazine, but it had like ads for, like, Ratchet and Clank. So they were doing, like, a little Ratchet and Clank, like, whoa, uh, funny contest. Come up with a fucking thing. Come up with a new weapon. Hey, kids. Oh, shit, I have to do all of that again. Just because I died once. What about if I died twice? I nearly have enough for that. Weapon. I have no ammo. That fucks. I should have bought some when I died. I don't want to continue this like like this. It's going to be too hard. I'm just going to run past them. I mean, if I can, why not? If I can't, then I'll buy ammo. Oh, infernal power. Continue point, hell fucking yes. I'm so fucking strong. Lol, the boxes arrangements definitely from Crash. I mean, they had boxes in Ratchet and Clank. They refilled my ammo, that's nice of them.
Well, why don't we fucking kill him? Fucking hell. Trying to think of like the differences in uh, the way the game feels. I can't tell that Wretch's movement is different. I feel like the camera movement is definitely increased, which is very good. Uh, Ratchet's movement himself is pretty similar, but the weapons make it feel a lot different. Hippo, what happened to the Blake video with Jesse? Oh, I had to remove it. Because, uh... The Blake guy, uh, like, got upset. Not the Blake guy, but like the guy Jesse was like prank calling. So it was like somehow he found Jesse again. It was like uh, it was a whole big thing. So he decided to uh, hide the video, which is a shame. But like, there's no potential for legal trouble then. It was gold, it's a shame. But people be crazy. Shut up, you stupid robot, you piece of shit. There's nothing that I can't kill, I'm Ratchet. I'm Ratchet, the king. Quite close to V3 on this bitch. This weapon upgrade features a lock on lock. Oh, you know what? I don't know who said it last time. About level 99. But I think that's just in Deadlocked. In Ratchet and Clank 3, they make it so you have to uh, upgrade it five times instead of once. So there's five times, then I think in New Game Plus you get a Mega version, just like in Ratchet and Clank 2, and then you upgrade it five times again for a total of ten upgrades. Could you put it somewhere else or make it a Patreon thing? Uh, maybe. I mean, I, you'd have to ask Jesse, really. The video is private. Actually, I think I may have deleted it, but I still have the video, like the file somewhere. Where the fuck are they? There you are, motherfucker. Got you before you left any guys. Shit. Puss buckets, puss buckets, 
What are you, a doctor? You're gonna teach me something? Do you have something to drinky? No, you can't, you're getting attacked. I would patron you if I could see that again. Hmm. I feel like I need to do this. Alright, I just need to kill some guys for a certain amount of time. Shotgun is so amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I really like this stuff. I mean, it sets up for the... It's like, um, you know... Ratchet and Clank 2 was like Ratchet going back to being a hero because he wants to. And now he's gained infamy and he's like being more of a soldier in an army as opposed to a hero alone by himself who nobody believes in him. It's like, no, nah, people believe in Ratchet. So it's like just a matter of how well he can do. But I don't know in the rest of the next games whether that, you know, continues anymore. Sort of like the first one, he's an unlikely hero. Um, second one, he's like, he's proving himself in another galaxy that, you know, he's like, coming into his own. Honestly, there's not too much development for Ratchet and Clank in the, as characters in the second game. But in this one, it's like, the things he's doing is like, amped up from the second game. God, that's such a fucking good gun. Yeah, they really made the guns a lot better in this game. Just in general feel ways. Look at that, I dodged them. Oh yeah, Agent Clank. Laser Defense Facility. Yama, Yaha, Yata! Ohayou gozaimasu! 
บืกเย่เย่เย่ just give me that refractor gadget to restore I do like this gadget oh hang on hang on if I can get it first redirects beams I do like the camera being more swivelly fast. Like that was the one thing that was making combat difficult in Ratchet and Clank 2, is how, how very slow. Oh god! Oh god! Okay, they're just stupid. Why can't I redirect this anymore? Because it's not the final beam. But look at this idiot. The refractor can reflect beam attacks at enemies. Just hold L1 to aim the reflected beams. Doing that this reminds me a lot of this game reminds me of Jack and Daxter. I guess by this point, you know, they really come to know each other's games. But like something about this, the, the, the sound effect of this, like laser beam, as well as it being what it is, reminds me of that mission in Jack and Daxter One. Where you have to go into the forbidden forest, or whatever it's called, the, uh, the, the, you know, you know the forest. And like, um, you go into the, the, the you go into the forest, you get the, uh, the lasers to go to the thing. You know? There should be a spider symbol somewhere in that room. Use the beam to lead the spider drone over the symbol, and then zap it with the laser. Come on, little spider, come here, come here, that's right. What a fucking idiot. Trying to select this. Um, what the fuck? Okay, that's weird. When you have the plasma whip, you just can't do that. Don't know why. Sorry, bro, gonna have to shut down your stream, and yet here you are infringing it up yet again. Huh? What am I what am I doing? What's what's infringing? What what what, what what's wrong? Is something happening? Is someone streaming and I'm streaming at the same time? Your Har Harry Potter 1 review on Hypocrite remains my favorite video on this website. Well, that's cool. I do like that one. That has, like, skits that are actually kind of funny. I didn't analyze the game very well. That's the one thing I don't like about that one. But, you know, you don't really need to analyze it. But it's just sort of like, I legitimately enjoy that game. So it's sort of, I want people to know that it's good. Hey, look, it's Al. Got the shields up yet? Silence! I am concentrating. What the? That's a Cork Vid comic. That's a Cork Vid comic. 
YouTube just decided to abort the second comment for some reason. YouTube is infringing on my right to free speech much like you're infringing on rightful Donkey Kong content creators. Look, man, Donkey Kong free shit or whatever the fuck that was. What the fuck? They stole my friendly friendly friends money. That was extremely lucrative and relevant. What even could it be? Like, what even could it be? Like, I don't know what the thing is. What could they be claiming from that video? Maybe it's one of the songs I used at the end. That's probably it. But like, what? Donkey shit? Or like, Kong? Something? Stupid bullshit? The thing? Oh look, the suck cannon. Alright. Spitting Hydra. N60 Storm. I like the Spitting Hydra. I remember that being pretty epic. Hold circle to target multiple enemies with the spitting high draw. It's so weirdly, you know, warm, but now it's so weirdly cold. And that's weird. Okay, play the Quark Vid comic. Will do. God, I love this. Look at that pretend CRT thing. You know, when the screens had a bump, they had curvature. They don't have that anymore. Now I'm not gonna go get 100% completion on, on this, for sure. But I am going to live. If I wasn't speedrunning, you'll be sorry. Fuck. Shit. God, I, all right, this is gonna maybe be the absolute worst. Cause I'm trying to rush through it. But you have to be very, very, oh, fuck off. I actually couldn't move out of that. I feel like there's a health point. Nope, nope, just a bunch of quark tokens, useless. Fucking hell. Oh, okay. Not the worst game ever. I didn't see a single health pickup, but there are checkpoints. yet. Dumb. <laughs> if you just run forward, you will get hit. That is the way the game is made. I just don't like waiting for these. I don't like waiting. I want to run real fast. I want to play Sonic. I want to be Sonic the Hedgehog. I really want to be Sonic the Hedgehog right now. Sonic the Hedgehog wouldn't have to stand for this shit. Please just be a checkpoint here. Fucking hell. Quark is like if Crocs had eyes. Um, yeah. And arms. Like, all the time. Captain Crocs! Ratchet, you are my mortal enemy! Fuck you, Ratchet and Clank. 
That's exactly what Crocs would say. There's a fucking health token. Click, 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 clack! I need a gun. I can't kill you if I don't have any ammunition. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I hit you with all of the bullets? You still alive? So what do you get? Why does Captain Croc sound so much like L Inspector Gadget? Does he? I'm Captain Crocs, and I hate mad agents. Oh look, a free iPad. Oh, oh, John Fraud. I mean, I've worked on some real. Yeah, now he knows who he is. La la, loodle loodle. Downloaded cock coordinates for some fucking place, and we're gonna go there. Lol, stupid. You know this game sucks. Haha, <laughs> it's so bad. I love video games. Win the terror guys. Hmm. Yes. Wonderful. They're bringing back the uh, the hollow guy stuff from Ratchet and Clank One but making it a little better. Uh, well, definitely better, because you can jump. And the holo guys is only used for one planet. No, two planets. One planet and a space station. Oh! I didn't do anything yet. Why are you going nut nuts? Push the button to flip the side. I do like this the aesthetic of this. Hold down L2 or R2 while running. Hey, be sure to catch me next week at the Florida Demolition This little guy can really move. Uh-huh. I sure can. Look at that. It's like the Tesla coil, but you get to choose where you die. To center the camera, tap. Hmm, get fucked. This needs to be leveled up. I got another Quark vid comic. I want to win the Terror guys, that's why I'm here. Ariba Amoeba. Now it's time to get down and dirty for a lowdown showdown. Yeah, the, the announcer in this is a. Uh... Oh, that was quick. Didn't do a whole thing, it just sort of like happened. The arena, I think, in this game is better, but less memorable. I don't know why, probably because of nostalgia reasons. Um, because, like, those little orbs in the second game, where the, the blades come out, I remember those vividly. But these guys, I had to, like, oh yeah, that, that's, the, that's the guy in this game. 
And it's funny how, like, it's so different from year to year. When you're young, like, one year difference is, like, so big. Because, you know, you experience that year as if it's such a large percentage of your lifespan. So you remember it. Inferno power! Like, these blue gladiators can't remember anything about them. They're just sort of, like, nondescript, sort of dark blue guys with stuff. I did not. See, this is so good for getting all enemies around you. And also, I'm just realizing, camera is a lot further away, so you can see things that are behind you. Yeah, they definitely improved a lot about the combat. I should, I should fuck this guy in the ass. Yes. He doesn't believe it, folks. Come back any time to compete for cash prizes. Okay, baby. I'll never do anything. Um, Return to the Phoenix. Yeah, there's a lot of Return to the Phoenix in this game, which I don't mind. I I do enjoy the the location. So, last time I streamed Ratchet & Clank 2, uh, at the beginning, I tried to speedrun it. It took about six hours. How long will it take to speedrun this game? I'm trying to think of all of the stuff. I'm thinking the last few levels are probably going to give me some grief, because those are very qu quite tough, really. Um, I feel like the game expects you to do stuff. I'm gonna play my new comic right now. If finds a Shut up. I think we need to play these in order to pro progress the story. But like, there's um, there's this one, there's, you know, there's other ones. But like, I'm trying to think of the planets. So, there is, um... There's that one place that is uh, Tyranoid Central. Dude, remember Ratchet Clank 1? I think that's what they were doing at this point. It was like, you go back to the original galaxy you were in, and it's, dude, remember Ratchet Clank 1. I think it was this game actually that made me realize that the the uh, the flamethrower is supposed to be the weapon you use against these guys because I never used it before. I just never really used the flamethrower in general. Do 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 do. I love this music. Careful. Careful, Captain Quark. What's over here? Health boost. Hi. Hi, how you do? I'm so fucking good at Captain Quark. 
I'm so fucking good at VidCom at Captain Quark levels. I'm so fucking smart and cool, and everything I do is the best thing. Look at that game design. Look at that level design. Putting things in the place of where they should go. That's really smart. And you know what smart is that? That is really smart. When I was a young boy making platform games on Multimedia Fusion, I didn't fucking know that. I thought you just put them anywhere. You just put coins and you try to get them. I just put all the coins and I didn't like placing coins because I felt like, why you? I don't want to place all these coins. I just want to play this game. I don't want to make it. Why, why are you supposed to make a game? Why do I have to make the game? Why can't I just play the game in my head? Isn't that more fun? Hey, what up, Gibbon? Hello, Pixeled. Oh yeah, you get fucking bolts for playing the game well. Imagine the equivalent of that. You play, you get a high score in Mario. And then the fucking video fucking video game gives you actual literal currency and it just spews it out of the machine. I didn't know that was in there. In a 3D print future, I guess if you could 3D print money then there would be no reason for to have money. But they, uh, you know. Oh yes, that's right. Infiltrate the water hideout of the Terranoids. Use the Terra guys. Captain Quark is commanding the mission. There's a whole bunch of stuff. You gotta go through the sewers. I think there's the sewers underneath. Incoming call. Incoming call. The incoming call is continue the game, says uh, me. That's where you make a roguelike so the game makes itself for you. Oh. Have you ever made a roguelike? Or a roguelite? Where you just, you type in parameters and then you say, please make video game. And then they say, okay. And computer says, okay. Take out the aquatic base. Skid. I, I love that so much. Just easily get rid of nothing, all of the stuff. Alright, I need to, um... What's good against these guys? Probably just this. The whip would probably be good as well. This guy, alright. Come on. All oh, right, he's scared. There we go. Now I'm gonna run out of double. Have fun, give. Got to go. All right, see ya. This is fun. I am having fun. Coming off the heels of Ratchet and Clank 2, uh, this game definitely feels way better. Well, not way better, but noticeably better to the point where I'm like, Hell yeah! Yeah! Ratchet and Clank! This is like the last really good game in the series. Uh, Deadlocked is like... Deadlocked has good combat, but it isn't like, it doesn't have any of the planet feel, it doesn't have like the level design. Um, and it doesn't have Clank, so it's like a little... A little bit of a different thing. Haven't forgotten how to swim, have you? Press square to dive and X to rise. Press harder to dive or rise faster. Your helmet will provide oxygen. At least in theory. Uh well it does actually. Yeah, it's like all of the things that happened in the in the second game.
uh, the sewer level, the big like sewer maze system. This weapon upgrade features a lock on mod. To lock on to enemies, press and hold L2 and R2. I never really did the lock on until just now. Certain weapons just have it when they level up a little bit. You could technically call Run Away From Snakes a roguelike, since it's procedurally generated. Um, I mean, kinda. Yeah, I mean, there's no upgrades you can get. It, it's more of, like, Endless Runner is like the sort of thing that you would describe it as. Like, are Endless Runners technically roguelites? I don't think proceed like Minecraft. That's procedurally generated. Is that a roguelike? I don't think so. I don't think so. This is like a Donkey Kong Country 2 thorn level, but underwater. Uh, don't wall jump off the ladder. Dude, imagine accidentally doing that in real life. You get up to the wall, and then you jump off it. Like an idiot. Like a true dumb... Sewer crystals page on the uh, page where you see like how much damage something does, what type of damage it does. Um, there are like n letters next to like a little symbols of like strength, dexterity, faith, and magic. And depending on how high that letter is, like if it's an if it's an A. Oh, dude, read memory card. Cause I have all the fucking shit from fucking get some free weapons. Mini turret glove, hell yeah. Lava gun, hell yeah. That is cool. Um, the way it works is that certain weapons uh, gain attack power through specific uh, attributes, such as a heavy weapon gains more from your strength than a lighter weapon gains from your strength. Like a heavy weapon will have like an A, I think. Um, next on, on the strength icon and like uh, certain weapons that are heavy and also require dexterity will have like an A and a C or maybe it's not letters I can't remember exactly but there's like a number there there's a number for like the requirement to hold it properly and then there's a, there's a letter that determines how much effective it is so like if there's a if something has like a, an A strength you have plus one strength if you ha if you have like more strength, that will do extra damage than if the weapon has just like a D strength. The more strength you have, the less efficient the attack power up go. It's, it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain why I'm playing Ratchet and Clank at max speed. He's just dead. He's just killed. He's Carol Clank's dead. Basically, look for the, the letters. If it's high, if it's close to A, like A, B, C, D, if it's close to A, or if it's S, S is the maximum. Um, so that's the rank. So if you are a strength build, you want to find a weapon that has an A or an S strength uh, thingy. Oh, shut the fuck up, Clanky. You're so fucking stupid. Um... Two-handing two and one-handing a weapon, um, I think just across the board increases the damage. Um, but usually, I mean, obviously, the drawback is that you can't... Um, 
guys discover you, just shoot a banana and have the monkey distract them. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. Hmm. Oh, I gotta do stuff now. Here's some... Very funny. And the bounce. Yeah, I don't actually know whether, like, dexterity weapons scale by being held in two hands. I think just by virtue of them not needing strength as much, uh, the holding it in two hands doesn't really do much. But maybe it does. I guess it depends on what weapon. This is goofy, but I love it. It's like it better than just like saying try a circle or whatever. There's a Dark Souls thing. I said Dark Souls. That was lucky. I need the monkey. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Gadget bots. Yeah. Everybody on? Is everybody on? You? You on the edge? You're not. Come on, get on, get on here. I'm trying to speed run, and these little guys just give me grief. No, no, Jesus Christ! Follow me. Follow me real close. Wait, where you are? Monkey. No, no, no. This is fucking duck amuck. This is duck amuck right now. Fucking go. made so that I can only just get through it. I 
I love the sweet swirl of lilacs in the spring. At least I don't have to do all of it again. It's funny, they have to load an entire fucking thing. I always felt it was weird that this, like, river doesn't look like it's flowing this fast, but it really is. They could have made it look a little more, like, actually flowing like that. Sewer crystals. Long tube. Alright. So I don't need to do any of that, I think. Um, but it is very good for bolts, very fun to explore, takes a while. But that is the, uh, desert equivalent. Alright, what am I supposed to do? What am I, what am I supposed to do? Return to the Phoenix. I, I, I do like that. They, they point you in the direction of where you're supposed to go next, because it's not always just the next planet. Well, team, uh, planet Tyrannosis. So we're going to take out the Tyrannoids. That's basically it. The Tyrannoids are attacking. Um, Ratchet is uh, called home to help. He comes home, and they need Captain Quark. And he's like, really? Do we need Captain fucking Quark? I mean, really? New suit of armor. Hmm. Yes, I fucking did. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's, that is the armor vendor. I can't afford that. I can't afford this. This is our onboard Gadgetron armor vendor. We'll notify you whenever a new... Whenever there's a noose, you can have it. Actually, I don't have, like, the charge boots, do I? No. Tyrannosis. So we're gonna run over on Tyrannosis, we're gonna do all sorts of fucking epic destructoid, distrambling, killing of the guys. We kill the main guy, Quark is a hero again, and then Dr. Nefarious is there, trying to turn everybody into robots. It's a wonderful little game, I like it quite a bit. Isn't this, like, a little bit stupid? Like, they have anti-air missiles they're shooting, and we're supposed to just jump through it. Like, it's possible, because it's Ratchet and Clank, but it's also, like, really dangerous.
Hell yeah. Nice work. Now just do this. Do -do -do -do. Better than the Halo car. Alright, I don't know whether. I think I go in here. I mean, why wouldn't I go in here? Oh, and it's got Echo because we're in the cave now. That's so cool. It's so satisfying to have a lava gun that's good. Okay, which way is this way is probably one. PS5 should, or rather the next console's generation, should focus on performance instead of more graphics. Imagine a game with today's graphics, PS4 and stuff, with 60 FPS. I mean, yeah, see, imagine. Glances over to the personal computer. It's very much doable already. I feel like 
the only way they can survive is to be basically a PC, but with, you know, games that you can't get on PC. And if they have games that you can get on PC, they better be cheaper, because you got to buy an entire console. I see that thing up there. What is Okay, what is that? Oh, it's one of those trophies. Yes, yes, that's another collectible I forgot about. The trophies. The goddamn trophies. Okay, I think I can get it from here. Yeah. May as well if I see it. The owl trophy. Arr. Kill him. It would be nice to have option like most PC games. Oh, hang on, there's a thing I didn't read. It's up to the developer, but most try to aim for the best graphics. Uh, it can handle it. Uh, it can handle, so I end up targeting 30 instead. Yeah, yeah. I still run into PS4 games that, like, that come out late in the PS4 life cycle, and they try to push the PS4 to its limit resulting in a game that doesn't run that well on the PS4, which is like, why why even bother? Why push it to the limit? You can have a nice game instead. Gee, I already have a hundred fucking... Hundred fucking nanotech. It would be nice to have the option, like most PC games, to reduce graphics for performance. That would be nice in a, on a on a console. Time to finish the job, Get moving. Like that seems to be the biggest difference. Is like PC games allow you to adjust things, and uh, console games don't. And there's no reason. They just don't trust you to be able to adjust things correctly. Huh? What did I unlock? Ooh, the Annihilator. That might be good to save up for, actually. Uh-oh, a scary. He scares me. He actually kind of does. Um, alright.
Actually. Whoa. -oh. Yeah, they have to do this so that you can sort of tell what the fuck is happening. Hell yeah. Glad to see you made it through in one piece, Ratchet. Hmm. You must I feel like I have to do these, I don't remember if I do, but it's part of the mission, right? Destroy everything. I guess they don't because it's developed for one system instead of accounting for every PC out there, so what they consider the best is what you get. Yeah, but they don't know shit. People still argue that 30 FPS is good and, you know, actually perfect and there's no improvement necessary. And in fact, anything more than 30 is bad and it's like, I don't know. I mean, this right now is pretty good. I don't know what FPS it is. I wouldn't be surprised to learn that it's 60. Coming over the bridge. Fucking hell. That that is bullshit. I can't get away from that. Let's see if I don't need to do it. Oh, it's got a load. Fucking hell. If I can avoid it, I want to. Return to the Phoenix. Okay, yeah. yeah don't even fucking need to do it.
It's fun, but I'm speedrun. I am speedrun right now. Guess I gotta do it. Uh, VR gadget training. Oh yeah, they consolidated the the thing into a thing. That hacker is used. Oops. I remember now. Come on, greens. Yes, they give me a bunch of gadgets. chat I saw something being posted and I need to read it but I need to check on this just in case I die god I remember the pattern of this I actually remember like the order things come out I mean it's hard to control this which is why I'm still fucking up Uh, finally, first time catching one of these streams. Cool. Hey, Nexus. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was already going. <laughs> you missed all of Ratchet and Clank 2. Now we're on Ratchet and Clank 3. I love Ratchet and Clank. They added that. That you finally Ratchet gets the approval of Helga in some fashion. Poor knowledge of PlayStation games, sad face. Uh, just had a PS1 back when I was like 10 and that's it. What did you have on PS1? There's a lot of good games on there. Hello, Captain Slug. I think my first PS1 game was Mega Man X4. 
Never played any of the Mega Man PlayStation games. Oh, yeah, why are you fucking? Oh, I'll try customizing my quick select. I'll try customizing my quick select. I'll try customizing my swift select. In the pause menu. To access your secondary quick select ring, hold R1 while using. Uh, Swoos. But like, they're still phenomenal games that are really fun. Hmm, like Daxter. Out here, the Dax facility. Shut up. It's funny, I guess up until this point there were no gadgets. You just sort of did combat. There's a lot more wall jumping in this game. Uh oh, an enemy. I must continue to move. Oh. Shit. camera. Come on, stay in the same place. Where do you go? You just... You came back where you were. That's stupid. God, I have to actually pay attention. I don't want to die after all this. Fuck off. Stop doing that. Okay, I need some weapon. Got him. Nice. Check it out, it's the thing. I was looking through all the saves on my PS1 and PS2 memory cards today and I somehow I managed to play Rayman 2 for 41 hours on one save. Wow, Rayman 2? Oh, you mean, do you mean Ratchet and Clank 2 or Rayman 2? Because Ratchet and Clank 2, I could, I could see 41 hours. I played quite a lot, the, uh, you know, across the like six or seven streams I did. PS1 Rayman 2. 
Wow, 41 hours on Rayman 2. Like, you go, you only go through the game once. Like, you can't go... Well, actually, you, you can go back to other levels. I guess you were probably looking for, like, the secrets for hours and hours, not knowing where they were. These guys. I like these guys. These are the the robot troopers of this game. Lava gun version two is still a lava based gun. Just fucking just kill them. Just kill them all. How do I, where do I go? Do I have to kill all the enemies? Oh, it's just over here. LOL. Oops. Whew. Got a little hairy there. Okay, I got a little bit of this.
because there doesn't ever seem to be enough time to do everything. The only thing you need time for is getting the, the making sure the red ones don't get you. That way you don't lose, but beyond that, It's like you have to let some of the green ones go because priority wise the green ones disappearing is less of a problem like than that This terminal should be got the Albani moons. I got all the Babano, the Barbones. I think that's it for this planet. There's a, like a little secret bit behind me. It's pretty sad that most of my PS1 discs are damaged, so they don't work properly. The music skips or doesn't play at all in a lot of the games. That sucks. I always made sure to keep big attention big attention like very close care to discs i i went to friends houses and they would like take the discs out and just put them on surfaces even if it was a clean surface or like a table or like a magazine i was like no 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 you can't do that you have to put it back in the thing you could never let a disc be on the surface it has to be in the disc case there's no other way how could you let this happen um i was very anal retentive about that sort of stuff but all my PS1 games work. Even the ones that are kind of fucked up, they still sort of work. Like the Rugrats studio tour. Like the, the, the case has been broken for a long time. Still plays. Even though, you know, it's kind of a shit game, but I, I kind of like it. It's actually very funny. You know, as, as shit PS1 games go, it's alright. So they got this stuff, which is more in depth than uh, others. The one on the other planet. So I do like that. There's like more to do, and there's more than one of these planets. I think there's another two even. Oh no. Just so fucking inventive and creative and epic and cool and the best. supposed to do? Where's the beam going? Oh, I guess I need to... Where do I go to get to there? I guess that thing there? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, 
Oh god, yeah, after what happened with my PS1 games, I was like that. The best game. I wish I was like that. So, I wish I was like that. So many of my childhood games lost or broken because I didn't get, take good care of them. You can try emulators, that is true. A lot of PS1 games are pretty easy to emulate because of the, uh, well, just general low fidelity of them. PS2 games are a little trickier, but they're, they're doable. A few years ago, it would have been a little too difficult for me to do a PS2 emulation, or at least one that was satisfactory. But they do sell, I like, a lot of, you know, Ratchet and Clank and stuff. That's all, like, HD re-released, sort of. Oh my god, this... That whip has no reach at all. Alright, I actually kind of hate that, that you can't choose another weapon when you have the whip out. It doesn't make any sense. Fuck that. I'm trying to read these things. You can try emulators, most of the PS1 games work. Yeah, I do, but still wish I had the physical copies. Yeah. It's it's something it's something something about like playing one of these games on the original hardware. Just feels right. Feels better. Shit, I can buy some shit. Shit, I can buy some shit. The hollow shield glove, the disc blade gun. I want the annihilator, I'll save up for that. Okay, let's just shoot them. Let's just fucking shoot them. Yeah, leveling up. This whole game just feels way better. I'm just enjoying everything about it. And the fact that these these crates that like give you times to experience, like a little snippet of like uh, New Game Plus in the first part of the game, it's very nice. don't like their weapon. It's sort of hard to tell when they're about to attack. And oh my god, I didn't even fucking see him arrive. And I can't see him at all? Okay. I'll just ignore him. Need the camera to be looking at the right place. gun, I suppose. I need more long-range stuff. That's why I want the Annihilator, because that's the exact perfect... Alright, here I am. Cover me. Yeah, Blackwater City, Railgar. Okay, off I go, off I go. Railgar, Railgar, Railgar. Yeah, really thankful for PS1 emulation being as good as it is. I would like to play Ape Escape 3, but copies are really hard to come by and emulation is bad for it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Shit, I should play Re Ape Escape 3 while I can, because my disc still works. One day it will stop working. One day the PlayStation 2 will stop working. I gotta play these games all the time. Wait, don't they have? Do they not have Ape Escape like HD remastered? 
They don't, do they? They gotta do that. They surely gotta do that. Maybe if it's just Japan only, I mean, that would suck, but they gotta do it somewhere. <laughs> Fuck! I got hit with a fucking rocket and I'm fine. Okay. Enemy aircraft! The noise are dropping in reinforcements! Shut up. I always hated that guy. That one robot voice. It's always so whiny. Enemies? Oh, well, no shit, you're a war guy. You're supposed to get into war and love it. Sauce. Fucking lava the fuck out of him. Fuck you. Specifically you, that enemy. Need health. Oh, fuck off. It took a little bit too long for the crate to blow up, so I died. I need to level up this whip. It's not powerful enough, as can be plainly obvious by the way it looks. I couldn't even kill that guy, what the fuck? Lava gun's just way better in every way. I said it again. Fuck! Alright, this piece of shit. This is the worst guy. Like, other people on my team don't seem to be attacking that one guy, and my turrets don't seem to be firing on him. He's just the worst. Finally, he's dead. Piece of shit. HD versions aren't that bad. Some things don't look right in 16x9, but they're perfectly playable. The HD version of Gladiator is kind of bad, though. There's a PS3 version of Ape Escape 3 in Japan. Hmm, well, that's something. An Ape Escape collection would be pretty dope. What I would really want is an HD remastered Tomba collection, but it's such an obscure game, it would never happen. I've heard of Tomba. But what is Tomba? Dropping 
They're not really storming it, just sort of like sending some babies. I do. Objective secure. We have captured the bridge. Fuck yeah, baby. Nope, 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 this. Somebody needs to get behind those noids and take them out. Come on, kill me. God, this is giving me good old flashbacks to uh, playing the multiplayer. Where you take over the base. No, we don't. We need bullets. Thank you. Although it wasn't really me. V3. I'm trying to think of like how the game handles um, weapon variety with like leveling up. Meet with Courtney Gears. Because uh, in Ratchet and Clank 2, uh, one of the major complaints I had was uh, in order to level up all the weapons, which you feel inclined to do, um, it's a lot of using weapons in uh, inopportune situations that you wouldn't want to use them in. And I think that's the same here. Um, the reason I think I'm doing, I'm feeling like pretty good about the weapons I'm using is because I'm not using that many of them, and so each of them is getting their time in the spotlight. And I haven't yet rec uh, come across a situation where the weapons I have do not fit the the uh, the bill. the fuck? Okay, sure. Uh, 
Right, this is where I might need the Annihilator soon. And in fact, I can afford it, almost. I think I can. Next time I see a thing, I'll buy it. Oh shit, that's it. That's easy. Dumbo was a side-scrolling platformer. Oh shit, I gotta fight the... I gotta fight the guy. Hang on. Hang right on there. Uh, yeah, lava gun, lava gun. Easy PP. Alright, new uh, Clark, Quark, Quark. Let's go to Hollow Star Studios. Tombo was a side scrolling platformer with a really cool quest based mechanic, and the second one added. The second one added 3D, but the company behind them, Whoopie Camp, only made Tomba 1 and 2 before going out of business. Well, that sucks. I feel like I've seen a Tomba like like uh, speed run. How are things around here, there, by the way, with the virus and stuff? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right. It's um. I got it better than a lot of people, uh, mostly because like, um, I'm not in a like a heavily uh, city-fired area, so it's it's the suburbs, and also you know we have a garden. So I was just thinking about this. Like I have the luxury of going outside and looking up and seeing the sky and being like, hey, you know, all things considered, it's a pretty nice day. But like. Some people can't do that. Some people don't have uh, nice views out their window. They just have what they have, and it sucks. And when you can't go outside, it's sort of like, yeah, geez. Right, got the monkey. The bridge is out. Think fast. How would Agent Clank get across? Yeah. So like The only thing it has done is like people that I'm working with sort of are feeling bad and I hope they feel okay soon because I really wouldn't want them to have anything. Just punch that monkey. Fantastic. Keep it up, Clay. Imagine being that part of the movie where Clank fails to fucking hit the thing over and over again. Giant Clank versus the terror of Talos. Don't screw this up, kid. Action. It's funny because like in this, like, Clank is actually a giant robot. So like is this set giant? Or is Clank only a small giant robot right now? Because look, that's an actual, like, is that a RC helicopter? Is that a real helicopter, you know? Yeah. 
Where's he go? Oh, I see the ninjas. I have to kill them. I can only assume that, like, this is not, like, to scale. This is, like, in a studio. That means Giant Clank is now, like, regular-sized Small Clank. Like, human-sized Clank. He's, uh, he's only the size of Ratchet. I guess his technology could do that. I mean... It's never explained. Where the fuck is the enemy? I don't want to kill like on hundreds upon hundreds of stupid ninjas. But I guess he's just gone. Where is he? Where is anything? Can't say but. They can't even say that. Games for children, eh? It's called Up Your Arsenal. It's Up Your Ass. That's what the game's called. Hippo. Is Hippo your fursona, technically? No. Hippo is its is her own character. Hippo is just like a person. She's like, ooh. She's like, ooh. And uh, if I had a fursona, I think it would be some sort of a lizard or frog guy. Because I like frogs, and frogs are funny. But I've never really thought about. Oh, well, I have thought about it. But I've never really like agreed, like agreed on anything. Like, I've never thought, oh, that would be my animal. Like, nah. Like, frog's pretty cool, but it, it's the only thing that comes sort of close. I don't know whether I'd actually, like, you know, want a fursona. Some people, it's, like, obvious. Like, yes, I am, I am a cat. I am a wolf. I am a this. I'm an eagle. Me? I don't know. I don't fucking... I, I kind of want to have one, but I don't really know what I would, I would have. But hippo, no. I don't really like... Strangely enough, hippos are not my favorite animal. They're pretty sick. But they're, like, sort of silly. And I don't consider really fat big guy. Because that's what a hippo is. It's a really fat big guy with a big mouth. Frog seems more apt than lizard. Yeah, because they got funny faces. They can go, like... They got big eyes and they're like, who? Like, whoa? And they go, rawr. So it's like, yeah, they got sticky feet. It's really, they're just really funny. Frogs are inherently funny and I like them. Right, let's see. Let's get the Annihilator. Be a lizard boy with Tom. Hmm. I think Tom's better lizard than me.
You think you'd be a donkey? Donkeys are pretty silly. They're pretty cool. I never really think of them though. It's weird, I don't think of them as an animal, even though they are. I just think of them as a funny horse. Like a ho like like I th I don't think of them as an animal in and of themselves. I think of them as a personality of animal. Like the same way a hyena is always depicted as laughing. You can't. I don't really think of a hyena as like a, an animal that has multiple moods. I think of a donkey that is constantly like a jokester, that is like the jester of the scene in which it's in. Jesus Christ. All down to one hit point and one hit. Funny I could afford that fucking extremely expensive armor. Just like the other game. At least these guys, they follow a pattern. They shoot three times and then they reload. You can... you can see it coming. That's racist? Hey. Donkeys, I hate them. I'm racist. I never heard of a donkey. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's so fucking confusing. Ah. Deliberately really confusing. going. die instantly. What, what the f- I didn't know that was there. That's stupid. That's actually stupid. At least I don't have to do the gadget stuff again. That means this will not take very long. That was bullshit. The fucking after, like, flame of their thing just stuck around on the floor for no reason. It's a fucking laser beam, like, what am I supposed to do? I thought once it hit the ground, that means I, admit I dodged it, like, fuck you.
Oh shit, I didn't even realize I don't have clank. That's why this is hard. Something happened to you. I was having my sprockets lewd. Lewd. Turtles are cool. I want to be a turtle, says Nexus Mania. Donkeys are horses that don't take themselves so seriously. Yeah. Nexus Mania, you're a furry now. Congrats. Lumia Stargazer. I know what you are. You're a person. I've heard of your name before and I've seen you around. That's all. Uh, what's the best Ratchet and Clank game? Um, only played the original trilogy. I would say it's probably within that original trilogy. I didn't have much fun with the first PS3 Ratchet and Clank. Um, but I will be playing it. Like, eventually I'll beat this game, I'll beat Ratchet Gladiator, I'll go onto the PS3 games, I'll play the PS3 game that I have, and if it fucking sucks... I will be vindicated. But I might just buy the next games in the series and, you know, figure it out. Figure out what's the what's the real opinion to have. But I feel, I feel like... I already know. They're not as good. That's what I feel. Deep in my heart. This level is so cool. It's just, you know, one of the one of the concepts of a gadget um for walking on the ceiling turned into an entire topsy turvy spiral level. Where it's trippy as fuck. You know me? Yeah, I know you. In fact, you... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were like one of the people in charge of the real PCP dating sim, the, the joke one that came out earlier. I think I remember your name there. Or, you may have been on the real one. As in the real, real one. You may have been on both, I don't remember. Probably 2, 3, or 1. For Ratchet and Clank games. Uh, the I'm watching BNA and playing Sonic, of course I am one. What's BNA? God, fuck. 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 Continue point, please. There you go. The fake meme one. Come on, Courtney Gears. You fucking 90s thing. Come out and die.
Yeah, yeah, fucking die. Everyone should be dead. Oh my god, I haven't taken damage yet. What the fuck? Where is she? Yeah, she got me. Fucking... Stop spawning the fucking dancers. I can't do anything about them. Well, I can do everything about them. Stop saying I can't dance. I can dance. I can do the dance. Alright, this is a bad weapon to be using. Fuck. Didn't know where that was going. Um, fuck. Okay, I, I, I could get out of that. But it's good to know that I could get out of that by just walking the right direction. Fuck! I'm gonna save a few of those for the end. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Stop doing this, it's hard to jump over. No, 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 no. Oh. One disposable pop star. Okay. Return to my ship. I just, I, I just don't want to do this anymore, Clank. I'm just, I'm done. I'm done with it all. I just want to go home. Lumia also writes Bunny Wave. What? What have you written for Bunny Wave? Or like, as in writes, as in all of it. It will be Lord of Ghosts. That way, if I'm betting against you, it'll be a rivalry thing. And I'll be epic. But then if you put it before, then I will die. And it'll be like a it'll be like a cool like rival thing. She's mostly responsible for chapter one and a few chapters that I haven't drawn yet, but they're really good, lol. I guess you could say I wrote the scenarios, Nexus would edit my dialogue. I see. I see. I got a lot of experience from that, I'm, I'm gonna do it again. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, and this time, the nanotech boosts that explode all the enemies only happen every 10 nanotech. That works, because there's a lot more nanotech numbers, instead of there uh, being like 20 or something. No, not 20. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16. Yeah, there's actually kind of almost 100. Almost 100 of those fucking things. Um, hello? Where are you? Imagine if I didn't get this gun for free, and I wouldn't be using it. Coming, gentlemen. Oh no, I gotta get out of there. 
I gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. Fucking ninjas. Come on, Quark. I just heard a lot of ghost rivalry. Oh, did something... did I... Is the audio okay? Can you hear me alright? Compared to the game? Whoop, just moving the mic. They draw Q all over again. Alright, I think... I have to just do the quark things to figure out where quark went or where he might be. The audio is fine, you cut out for a second. Oh, um, I was saying, what would come back, what do you bet would come back first, Lord of Ghosts or Bunny Wave? There, that's what I meant by rivalry, like, dude cool. It'll be some sort of motivation for us to, like, come back. Actually, I shouldn't do that, because you've got to still do your Vapors chapter. And I want that to come out first. I want that to be finished. So that I can get my Vapors physical thing. And I, you know, all the things that come with that. Fuck, I didn't even- I could barely even notice that that fire was like a thing going around it rather than, you know, just fire that doesn't move. Because fire doesn't usually move. You know, that's kind of a, like a bad... Bad kinesthetics or something. So it's bad something. Something's bad right here. Some video game is bad, and I think it's this one. I think some video game is the bad one. I think I found the bad video game. You can you can not play this one. Okay. I'm not supposed to fucking I want I want the green. Where's the green? Oh, I didn't fucking see that. That's hidden by the HUD. That's stupid. Okay, I didn't find the health upgrade. But that's okay, I beat it. First Rocketo Punch would be finished, Lamau, then Bunny. But yeah, first Vapors. I want to finally read the Vapors. Having some trouble with it. I'm excited to have some physical Nexus arts. You do the same. No, it's not over, Nefarious. Yeah, well, what is the trouble, Nexus? Are you being bombarded by mortars and explosions and uh, dead people coming to kill you? Episode four. Deja. Deja Q. 
Is there, like, a terrible, horrible pandemic going on? Is there, like, a world-ending, like, government bullshit? No, that can't be the case. That can't be how it is. It's impossible. Oh my god! I did not expect that to be okay. Mega Man! Except really easy. And not at all difficult in any way. In fact, it's. A ladder. How do these things work again? Oh, I remember. Just press up and down. Shut up. Shut up, Captain Quark. I know how to fuck a ladder. I never know how to do that. You just... It's just sort of weird. Why would they not shoot at me? They have a laser beam and they're just shooting it nearby to get me with the other thing. And it works, because it's a stupid thing to do. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck this. I don't have any ammo, no way to get any. Fuck. I can't do this. I can't. I, I literally can't do this. What the fuck? I need to rechat. Figure talking about it can sometimes help work out a problem. Hang on, I need to scroll up. Ugh. I'm playing the game so hard that I can't, I can't keep up with the small chat that I do have. I was going to print Bunny's first issue and an art book for a convention in the U.S., but Corona happened. Oh, that that fucks. That fucks. Lol, nah. I'm just editing a 48-minute video, and also Vince is a bit hard to draw for me. Do you think you know what part it is that's giving you difficulty in drawing Vince? I can't draw hats in that coat. Just do what Ben does. He just draws, like, a fliff fluff. Like he just draws as the fluff part. Instead of, like, having all of the lines connect. Or, here's another thing. Look at how uh, Oda draws Brooks' feather boa. Or Don Flamingo. It's a lot of just like drawing each thing, like like a leaf, and then the other direction, then a curve in that direction, and just sort of like it looks really good. I have to kill it, but then I won't have any ammo. I literally will not have any ammo. Yeah, fuck you.
Hmm, what if I went all the way over here? Okay. Nothing is there. And that was a very strange stream screen transition. I don't like that I can't do anything about them. Like I can't I just I can't move on, I just have to slowly wait for them to be in range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lol. He jumped into it. Fucking idiot. This weird minigame kind of reminds me of the worst Jazz Jackrabbit. Of a worse Jazz Jackrabbit. I'm gonna be full of- I don't know what that is. I've, I, I've never heard of it. Jazz Jackrabbit. Is it an old PC game? I'm gonna be full vapors mode anyway as soon as I finish editing. Oh yeah, I've been trying that all Oda approach. I think I have a pretty decent Vincent so far. It's just my OCD is making everything difficult. Well, I'm sure with your uh, assern assuring eye, discerning eye, uh, that it will look amazing when it's finished. Armor vendor. Oh shit! The new armor. Oh no! How expensive is it? It's too expensive. I can buy this one though. Shut up, Al. Why'd you exist? OCD is the enemy of creating. True that. Real shit. A lot of my Vapors pages that I drew, I feel like they're shit, but I worked on them. I mean, I may, I obviously now I realize I could have like spent a really long time on it, but. I felt good to get it out of the way, and it's not like bad, it's still good, but I see bad things with it. Dr. Nefarious must be around. This thing needs to level up. It needs a lock on mod, it needs something. Look at how fucking quick that is. Oh, it's so much better than Ratchet Clank 2, I can't believe it. I'm excited to read your pages, Gib. Yeah. I I I think I did a pretty good epic job. I think one of the one of my pages has like a, an iconic moment, an iconic like panel. 
that will be like, oh, cool panel, Gib. People are gonna say, cool panel. And I'm gonna be like, hehe, <laughs> thanks. Lol. If only I could afford that fucking stupid armor that sucks. That's perfect in every way. Level 5 lava gun would be pretty cool. Fucking flamethrower tank. Idiot. Stupid. You thought you could kill me? That's gotta be it. Yeah, yeah, he died and then I got it. The liquid that's what it was. It was the liquid nitrogen gun. Oh, I love this weapon. It's like they really fucked up last time. They know they did. With the um They know they did with the uh uh, lava gun in uh, Ratchet & Clank 2, where it turns into the Meteor Gun, which is vastly less useful and less cool. And this time they kept the silly strings uh, beam, they just made it have a different effect. Very good, very smart, very epic. Shit, does the ally- oh, okay, fucking- I thought I stunned him. I thought I stunned him and he was stunned. I thought I was, he was gonna be dead in a second. If I get 250,000 bolts, I'm definitely gonna go get that armor because I definitely need it because I definitely think this game is definitely shit. It's a pretty funny tank. I like it. That was a lot of experience and a lot of ammo. I love Lord of Ghosts, so I'm sure it'll be good. Well, I actually uh, drew the vapors before um, I did Lord of Ghosts. So it might be even a little bit worse in terms of like inking, but it, probably not much. I mean, I didn't improve that much since, so it'd be about the same. I do like that, that special little thing where um, the 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 light beam from the ceiling indicates that enemies are coming from above oh great my nanotech increased as I died and get yeah, has no nanotech right at this point I'm sort of grinding that's not a good thing that sucks in fact uh, let's get Now it bounces. See, it's just like so much damage they do. I 
Oh, there's no way. Still need to read The Lord of Ghosts? Well, you can read it right now over on gibbandtake.site. It's very easy. The Lord of Ghosts comic has some iconic shots. Yeah. By the way, did Ben write each one specifically for the person, or did you get to choose? I could have chosen um, if I asked. I didn't really mind. I think I chose at the end. At the end of the day, I did choose one. Um, there was a couple. He said, he told me, like, he wrote a few specifically for people. But not that many. Mostly, they're just sort of like, he, he came up with some. Alright, I think it's time to st stop trying to upgrade things and start trying to win. I forgot that the tank there. I forgot the tank is there. I got, I'm so low on health I may as well just die. Uh, let's just try and keep going there. Fuck off. Yeah, that's the thing I was noticing, is that the Annihilator now has little, little bombs that come out. It's kind of weird. I don't mind it, though. Alright, I don't like that. I really fucking don't like that. I don't know the best weapons to use. I do know that I need to get my ammo back. Okay, it's 60 now. Fuck! Because it's like, what's the point of nanotech increasing if enemies, like, can go th chew through it even faster? It is just a badly thought out mechanic. Like, if, if you would have too much health at this point, just make the health level up slower. Like, I don't like the fact that it's locked behind bolts. Because you have to spend those on weapons, and if you don't have enough, even when you spend them l sparingly, then it's a fucking grindfest. And that is the worst thing Ratchet and Clank can be, is a fucking grindfest, but it always turns into one. That's why Ratchet and Clank 1 is the best game. It doesn't have any of that shit, it's just a video game where you jump around and shoot with weapons. Just kill me. I just remember this part of the game being, like, annoyingly frustrating because all the enemies do, like, ten times more damage than they just did. 
Like, all of them. All of them do ten times as much fucking damage. And it's because you never have enough money to f unless you, like, went all the way through the sewers and got millions of bolts. But if you did that, you probably bought one of the shiny weapons that, that were fucking available. Instead, I'm just- I'm forced to, like, play super conservatively or die over and over again. I don't want to play conservatively because that's lame. And even then, you still get hit out of nowhere with a fucking tank coming around the corner at a time you didn't expect. I think these little bombs that the Annihilator gets is, uh, they're kind of shit. Like, I need the- the point of the Annihilator is to do long-range damage immediately upon contact. I don't need a little bomb thing to go off that sort of takes extra time to get around to killing the enemy. How do I even fight that? How do I even fight that down there? I can't even fucking see it. How am I supposed to go over there and fight that? All I got is this. I can't even- I can't- I can't do it. Oh my fucking god. Fucking bullshit. I hate this. I hate this. Worst fucking level in the entire game. Fucking just kill me. What do you need the fucking sniper rifle? Is that what it's telling me? You need you need the fucking sniper rifle. You need to hang back. Ah, look how fucking impossible it is to dodge any of those. There's just no way. I'm gonna go into this always having, like, half health. Look! Th there's cover. Cover does fucking nothing. I don't like that my fucking fully upgraded Nitroraptor can't kill these enemies anymore in one blast. It's just like the the, the, the the difficulty spike is too high right now. It's just too high. This very specific one small area of the entire game is the worst part. Except the last couple levels, but by then you're expected to like have a, a acclimated to this fucking spike. It's still difficult, but it's like as difficult as it, ha as it has been for the past few levels. This just suddenly out of nowhere too difficult. Doesn't matter how many things you dodge, you can't dodge enough.
No continue point yet. What's that? Is that important? First of all, fuck you. And fuck that guy. It's Clank. Uh... Okay, that's a bad weapon to be using. Uh, the whip should totally be like a stun lock one return to the phoenix mmm rage I'm trying to speed run here you know I can't be taking my time I gotta power through it, I gotta be real strong. Just hours ago. Just hours ago. Crash site Zeldrin. Do we ever go to Ratchet's home planet? Or was that the first level? I think that was the first level. So yeah, uh, Ratchet Clank 3, perfect game. That level, shit level, bad level. Bad difficulty curve spike. Don't like it. See, I remember this planet being difficult as well, but like, not as annoying difficult. Because those green enemies with their lasers... I think it's just the fact that so many of them are at a difficult position to, like, aim at. Like, you have to look up a lot of the time, or you have to look while you're... You have to look in a strange place that is bad to look at. It's hard to see. Also, I've noticed uh, the... Arena, um, fucking fuck off. Mm. 
Those enemies are fucking dog shit. Right, I'm gonna use this to just run past things. Don't need to bother. Where do I go? 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 What do I do? What do I go? What do I do? Where do I go? What do I do? What do I go? What do I fucking do? There's nothing here. Oh. It's a place that doesn't look like a place. I thought I fucking shot. I can't believe that. Like, after all of that. And that, oh, you just fucking die. Start again. Right, fuck this game. Actually, fuck this game. This is the part of the game where you have to grind for bolts so that you can afford to fucking live. That's the part of the game this is. What pacing? What the fuck's that? Why would you have a game that's paced well? Why would you do that? What are you, stupid? Why would you have a game that's fun to play? This is, this is dreadful. This is absolutely fucking dreadful. Ratchet and Clank 1 is the better game. There's just no saying, there's no other way to put it. The fact that I don't have 250,000 bolts is making the game shit. I don't know what to do. Like, now that that crate, that crate that, like, gives me immunity, that is not going to appear anymore because I got it. I already used it. So now, that area is going to be, like, 20 times more fucking difficult. I'm gonna keep needing to buy ammunition so that I can keep playing the game, which means I'll be slowly losing the money I need to get the fucking armor so that I can play the game. Bolt bullshit fucking sucks. This is why New Game Plus is the only way to play any of these fucking games, because getting bolts as a necessary part of the game, which is a terrible fucking, ex fucking system that I hate with a burning fucking passion, the only way to make that any fucking amount of bearable is to get to New Game Plus so that you can get bolt multipliers. But you have to play the game first to get there, so it's like... The first one is always painful, and long and tedious, for no reason. And you know, I could buy, like, multiple different weapons. Um, that, like, could maybe make the game a little bit easier here, but... The most important thing is the armor. Without that, I'm fucking doomed. I can't kill this guy fast enough, and I'm gonna fall off, because there's no fucking way to stand. This this game is just bad right now. Look at that, one bullet from one of those guys gets me down to fucking 30. It's just unreasonable. It is just- I got the second armor upgrade. I haven't got no armor, I've got some armor. And this is how useless I am, this is how pathetic I am on the battlefield. It's just stupid. It's fucking stupid. It just feels like it's a different game. That thing is back, okay. 
make the most of it. Die. Fucking die. Fucking die. Fucking die. Oh god, I'm not gonna be able to kill this guy. No, 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 no. Fucking get up there. Don't get up there. Die instead. Perfect. Fucking, fucking perfect. Did you see that? Did you fucking see that? Fucking fat fuck Al came up on screen with a help message. Ratchet, you're gonna get creamed unless you get yourself some better armor. I would if I fucking could. I would if I fucking could, you cunt. You absolute cunt. They have the gall to say that. There's there's a there's a moment in in Ratchet and Clank 2 where this this happens as well, but this is far more extreme. I feel like where the difficulty spike is like, and now fuck you. Now it's like, and now fuck you. All right, this comes back every time. So. I feel like you're supposed to get it every time, because if you don't, how the hell are you supposed to survive against any of this? Oh my god, it ran out at the exact wrong time! One is better than two is better than three. <sighs> if it weren't for this, three would be the best. Literally, if it weren't for this moment in the game. Like, this and the previous previous level, where the, the, the difficulty spiked to unreasonable fucking degrees. Because of money. Because it's, yeah, you gotta fucking pay up. Pay up before you can continue the game. We've made ways for you to fucking grind for bolts. Don't you like that? No, I don't. I actually hate that in every fucking game. RPGs suck because you have to grind. Every RPG where you have to grind as a part of the design process of the game is a shit game, and I hate it. It should not be allowed to exist. Everyone who worked on it should die, right now. Drop dead. Fucking drop dead. I don't care how old you are, how in retirement you are. Actually, that's a really bad thing to say right now. I take it back. Forget it. I'm just gonna ride on this stupid elevator. That's all I wanted to do. So all I wanted to do is ride on this stupid fucking stupid elevator, get to this this point here, and then die to these bullets. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to die to these bullets over here. Hey, hey fuck you, ratchet. Fuck you. Fuck everything. There were, like, there were only, like, less than ten upgradable things, most of them completely optional, and that one, they were just cool. You talking about the first one? I just want it to be over, I don't... The fact that I know New Game Plus exists makes, like, playing any of the game feel pointless, because I... All I'm doing, like, if I were to play this, like, slow, if I were to play this as, like, a first-time playthrough, um, just trying to get everything, trying to do all the bolts, I, I know that I'm just setting myself up for, like, f like, disappointment and, and hell later on, because it takes so much longer to get to a point where you can purchase all of these fucking things that you need. It takes so much longer. Because, like, you don't have the bolt multiplier. You can't get things fast enough. So the grind is bigger if you play it, like, slow on the first playthrough. And the grind is more bearable afterwards when you have the ability to make the money. So, like, getting through the first part of the game, like this, 
it's like, I don't know. I think New Game Plus has fucking fucked this game up irreversibly, like irrevocably, irrevocably. Like there's nothing you can do now. Like they've made it, like in a, in a way that you can't enjoy the first experience anymore. You can't play the game knowing that you're being inefficient. I don't even know where, where I'm going from here. Do I just kill everything? <sighs> I'm being too harsh. I know I am being too harsh. I'm just up in, up in arms right now. It's just, you know... My point is correct, it's just the way I'm expressing my point is very exaggerated. Uh, Over-exaggerated. People are going to get the wrong idea. It's fine, it's just slightly worse than Ratchet and Clank 1. In that specific one way. Like, if I am patient and I take the time to kill the enemies, it's not that bad. It's still pretty bad, because getting hit seems to be, you know, pretty instant death sentence. But I'm dodging things, so it's fine, I guess. Now what? What now? Literally what now? Oh. One is better than three is better than two. Like, pick up, pick up and play? I would say yeah, one is better than three. Just for this moment right here where everything becomes terrible and they really didn't need to have it be like that. And in Ratchet and Clank 1, there's no leveling up. Leveling up ruins every single game it's in, except the ones that it doesn't. Imagine if they added leveling up to Sonic. Like, you can level up your speed, um, but you have to buy it, you have to collect rings throughout the levels in order to do it. And then in one level, you have to outrun something, and if, you're not, if you don't have the right, you know, speed boost power-up, that you could buy with rings by that point, then um, you can't. It's like impossible. Time, like that's that's sort of the equivalent. Ratchet and Clank One was a game designed to be the way it is. To add um, leveling up on top of it sort of sh broke it, but nobody noticed because it was pretty epic and cool and lol. But I noticed it. I notice how it sucks. It's good, but I think a lot of people just like it because it's awesome, and it is. This is why I feel like I still need to make a hypocrite video about this, just to just to destroy the myth that leveling in Wretched and Clank 3 and 2 was a good idea. It's completely a bad idea. The weapons are really cool, yes. The levels and the enemies are really cool. The movement is much better, yes. The leveling up kind of breaks everything. The, the, what you, what would you call it? Like, uh, I, I said it earlier, I forgot the word. Like, um, fucking, uh, pacing. The pacing is ruined. The pacing is ruined.
fucking... Going first person is a fucking stupid idea. And it's always something you want to do because so many weapons are designed to be used in first person. Uh, just... whatever. Just fucking... just kill the Tyranoids. And... Oh look, I've almost got enough for the armor upgrade that I needed two planets ago. So I can't use the smart thing, and I can't, you know, I can't go through here getting the, the refractor, because if I do, these fucking kill, kill me. And they never stop coming, ever. I don't know why this doesn't have a lock on. It's really hard to get over here. And look up while walking. Fuck you. Right. Oof, yeah, that would be bad for Sonic. Yeah, it feels good to level stuff up. Feels good, but numbers, 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 yeah. It's just numbers, numbers, numbers. The thing is, like, games designed around it work. If leveling up was always a part of the experience, then, like, pacing can be accounted for. It can never be accounted for perfectly, because if, if you have m too much choice, um, there are going to be, like, situations where you choose wrong. Like, in Dark Souls, you can fuck yourself up and make the gaming unbearably annoying by putting points into the wrong skills, um, leveling up the wrong weapons, you know, things like this. Once you know how to do it, it's fine, but, you know, it's, there's something to be said for the, the, uh, a video game's ability to restrict the player in a way that doesn't make them feel like they're restricted. There are some games that manage to do that, and those are the best ones. Because they make it so that the experience is fun, no matter which thing you pick. But they don't make it feel like your choices are pointless. Like Ratchet and Clank 1. The choices are about which weapons you buy. But there are no, like, terrible weapons. All the weapons have some use. In Ratchet and Clank 2, some of the weapons just are useless. Like the fucking spinning disc thing. It's just one of many weapons that you can buy. And it's not fun to use, and it's hard to use, and it's got really low damage output. And when you level it up, other things are just way better. Even when leveled up. So it's kind of like a pointless weapon to buy. In Ratchet and Clank 1, all the weapons have their set damage. And so they have to be useful throughout the entire game, otherwise why could you buy it? Why are you allowed to buy the blaster if the blaster isn't useful near the end of the game? The fact of the matter is, the blaster is useful all the way through the game. You can use the blaster against Drek. It's all perfectly good. So it's like, yeah. It's the, it's the problem with leveling up. And there's many ways to say it, but the, the main way I say it is, fuck this game. That's what I usually say. I usually just say, fuck this game. And I rage. I get all fucking heated and I seethe in my seat. Oh, I'll just kill him. I mean, whatever. What's over here? Did I go here for no reason? I think I did. 
Wait, no. No, that's nothing. If there had to be leveling up, it shouldn't have been for the weapon since that's the mainstay big thing. Uh, I mean, there didn't have to be leveling up, that's just the long and short of it. You could have bought, like, in, in the Ratchet & Clank 1, the only thing that comes close to this level of bullshit in Ratchet & Clank 1, right, is the buying of nanotech. Technically, you can beat the game with only four pieces of nanotech, four health baubles. You can get by, it's just very difficult near the end. Fighting Drake with only four hit points is actually pretty di difficult. So you're, you're supposed to buy an upgrade. Um, in the, in the uh, Orkson place. It's technically optional to do so, but you, you know, it's a really good idea to do that. Um, is there nothing here as well? Or maybe I'm fighting, like, enemies. Maybe I'm killing enemies. They're, like, the big green guys i got to get rid of. Yeah, I think that's it. The flying enemies. I think that was a gay joke. I'm, I'm not sure. I think that was a gay joke, and the captain's worried about people thinking he's gay. I think that's what's happened. Mm, the car's about to be destroyed. I wonder if I die if the car dies. Lol. It's not much of a skill. Oh, fuck off! I got out of it. I got out of the car. God, I have to do this again. Oh, fucking fuck me. Fucking hell. Fucking shit. Fucking bullshit. Alright, I'll do all these ones. I'll just fucking I'll kill myself or something. Just, I'll die. Or... Like, how are you supposed to do this, really? Why is it so hard to fucking aim upwards? That's one of the things that Ratchet and Clank fucking sorely needs, is a way to easily aim upwards. You just can't do it. You have to tilt the camera so it's like this and you can't see what's in front of you, or do this, which means you die instantly because you're standing still. Like, the amount of jumping you need to do to stay alive in Ratchet & Clank makes sure that you cannot stand still and do this. I feel like I was in the middle of a point earlier, but I forgot what it was. Something about Ratchet & Clank 1. Oh yeah, like, the nanotech. Like, the, th the closest thing to it is, like, the nanotech that's... Fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this so much. Oh, soon, soon I'll have enough ammo, uh, soon enough money, to play the game. Wouldn't that be fucking nice? So not only is it a gay joke, 
Actually, it's probably not a gay joke. What am I talking about? I mean, it's a half-charged crotchetizer, right? That's embarrassing. So, like, it's a sexual innuendo sort of thing. But, like, cabin boy. Like, I feel like that implies gay. Whatever. Oh, a new car. For some reason, I can't shoot over that, even though I can fucking see over it. And I can see that the fucking turret can see over it as well. just want to aim the car at him and fire. Well, that does hit him. Now I finally have enough for the armor. God fucking damn it. Oh shit. Come on, attack me. I think it would be cool to have weapon mods but no levels, so that you can alter the ability of the weapons without having to worry about lesser damage. That sounded like Flipendo from PS1 Harry Potter. What? What it sounded like Flipendo? Did, was it something I said or was it something the game did? Yeah, weapon mods, that's one thing. I really think it's just that the price tag is too high for the, the armor. Like, all it necessitates is boring gameplay for a few hours. And like, why would, why would anyone want that? Why would anyone be okay with that? There was a charge beam that had the exact same sound. Oh, the... this? 
I suppose it's pretty similar. I can tell it's different, but yeah, I know what you mean. This won't take long to level up. that like 72 hit points and like they're so completely insignificant all of them like my nanotech just increased oh cool you mean it doesn't do anything like no difference whatsoever thanks Turret vs. turret. Got them. I don't know whether that gave them experience or not. Let's see, it's very close to leveling up. Yeah, it does. Reward warp pad. What's that? Sarge, what the? Pretty cool, huh? It's called a warp pad. Great for running away. Yeah, I got an extra one. Wonder what that does. on the fifth sh uh, Quark comic. I don't feel like I've been streaming for that long. Maybe four hours? Luckily, these things are not ever too difficult because they have checkpoints. 
so I can just rush to the checkpoints. Although I think this one might be a little different. Oh, you cunt. I can't fucking believe that shit. Okay, where am I? There we go. Oh, there's the thing, there's the thing. I want that. I want that more than I want anything else. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I know where these guys are, but you just can't, you can't, like, avoid their first attack. Okay, I did it. Well, thanks for the 13,000 bolts. Uh, Gonna go to Quark's hideout. Oh, and I should get the armor, of course. I wonder if there's a new armor. Wouldn't be surprising to find that there's pretty new armor pretty soon. So what does this do? The suit's built-in AI responds automatically to any attack, redistributing power and angling the armor plates to absorb up to 66% of incoming damage. So yeah, it's a percentage thing. Like really? How... how much fucking damage do they need to be doing? Why does it need to take care of 66%? Whatever. I've ranted about it enough. Where's the bounce for sale? Where is it? I don't even know where you are. You back here? Thank you. 
Oh, oh, I need to do something, don't I? Jesus Christ, they just don't stop. Why isn't it not why is it not doing it? I set the warp thing. Okay. See this level's a lot a lot nicer. Like it's difficult but um it's it, there's cover that you can use, there's ways to get around. Like I remember this part being pretty difficult. Um, but like, you know, they're easy enough to dodge. It's a bit of an endurance, but like, it's, it's just, it's not the same as like, the levels I was getting really upset about, where enemies are all around you, above you, and below you, and you're just, you don't have any fucking armor, you can't deal with it. Shoot the fucking crates. See, this is just, it just feels nicer, because it's like, one hit, two hit, three hit, four hit, I'm still alive. You know? Because the amount of bullets on screen at any given time in any Ratchet and Clank game are ridiculously high. The amount of things you have to keep track of, and dodge... Three hits does not fucking cut it. I want that fucking thing.
Fuck. Um. Enough about the PS4 game. The bouncer was a pre-order exclusive weapon. Wow, that is, um, that is one way to ruin a beloved game. Just put things behind paid pre-order bonus bullshit. So wait, if I want to buy the game now, because it's already out, can I not get it? Because I can't pre-order the fucking thing? How do I, how would I get it as a new consumer? If I would ever get that version. Yeah, there's no way to get it? That is actually the worst fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. What does video games come to? I mean, long live piracy, I guess. You would have to buy the code from someone that did. Why Why would they fucking do that? Like, the, bou the bounce is a really good weapon. I don't, I don't understand the, the mentality of that. Surely they would know that once the pre-order is no longer available, that, like, a weapon that is pretty fucking good, actually, is now not even available in the game that it's available in. Ugh. I can't trust anything. Anything new is bad. New, bad, old, good. It's always the same. Doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Old, good, new, bad. This level gave me so much trouble. I remember getting to this monkey part being trouble. But I guess I blew through it. Just now. Ah, shit. Says stress south. What's the ah uh, shit? Yeah, indie games are still good at least. I would say they're pretty good. There's there's very few indie games that like capture like the majesty of something like fucking Ratchet and Clank. You know? Like, there are really good indie platformers. I don't know whether there are any indie platformers that would, like, rival original Mario. Like, like retro platformers. Like, the things like Shovel Knight. Like, Hollow Knight and Shovel Knight. They're pretty great. Oh, fucking hell. I just happened to run into the fucking beam of death. Gotta wait for this fucking monkey to get here. And then wait for him again, and then wait for him again. Like, indie games are good, but like, I don't know if I've ever played an indie game that is like, oh, that's fucking great. That's like in the best game ever when compared to like AAA games of their time, if you know what I mean. Ratchet and Clank 2 would have been a AAA game when it came out, if that was a term people were using. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, 
Oh, they're coming from a thing. I feel like I was in the middle of a sentence and I, I stopped. Oh yeah, indie games. Um, no, I think I said my point. What do you think? Is there like an indie game that is on the level of a Ratchet and Clank? I don't know that there is. I always enter PCP stream saying, ah, shit. It's like, ah, shit. I caught a PCP stream, hell yeah. That's cool. No, 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 this isn't cool, though. Oh, god damn it. Monkey, fucking get over there. Just get over there. Just, oh, okay, you can't get over there? Oh shit, where do I go? Okay. Definitely nothing on the level of Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, you know. When I go to a really fun game that I want to play, it, it tends to be a triple A. Either an old or a... well, usually an old. Sometimes a new one, but very, very rarely a new one. Um... Did I do it? I did it. Hey, little. Hail, Caesar. There are some pretty good indie games doing their own thing instead of trying to be like an old game and failing to be better than it. I suppose that is the problem. Like, if you try to be like the old games, you won't really succeed ever. You can, tr you can get pretty close, but... Like, I mean, uh, fucking... I had in time, right? Really nice little game. Doesn't really feel as satisfying as any other platformer from the old days. Like, the platforming itself is just sort of boring. And, uh, you know... The designs are really nice, but, like, they're not quite as nice. There's always something to complain about, though. I guess it doesn't fucking matter. Everything's fine, actually. I feel like I could make iconic designs. I mean, I would argue Pumpkin is an I iconic design. Like, I just really like drawing her a lot. She's really cool. Quantum energy that 
Yeah, 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 whoop. Alright, I do like that. That's the, the quantum whip is cool. When things level up to their maximum level, they do pre they, they, they do become pretty epic. This needs more power. It's so weak. It's so weak and yet it's level 4. Yeah, fuck this. Can't even kill one enemy. This is not good for these enemies. They jumped way too far. But I got it. It's now the shooty gun. The deadly Gadgetron Tempest can target up to seven enemies simultaneously. Internal security breach detected. Still can't stun them though. Well, kind of can. Uh just fucking die. Stop with the ninja stars. You're not Naruto. Stop jumping around. Fuck, those ninja stars are so hard to see coming. You can hear them, but like... Oh shit. Oh shit, it became big. Finally! Fucking hell. That's a big boy. Wait, what did I hit? Did I get the times two? I did. Oh shit. I was getting times two. That's pretty cool. Shit, 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 shit. I hope that's not insta death. That's not good.
Hmm. I think you made some iconic designs in the Lord of Ghost comic, like some One Piece tier designs that are equally silly and badass and very striking. Thanks. That's definitely what I'm going for. I want to make things that are really funny and cool at the same time. Cringe and based all at once. Rift and Duto create small black holes that suck enemies into another dimension. I think I like that. This devastating secret weapon transforms your enemies into ducks. Why is that so expensive? And maybe it just does it real quick. Okay, let's get the Rift Inducer. Because I doubt that there'll be an affordable um, thingy. Uh, an affordable armor that I can afford affordably. Gonna go get some sleep now, have a nice rest of stream. See ya, Nexus. I could go, I could interrupt what I was doing to go get another weapon. I don't wanna. You know, all things considered, my raging included, um, I think the pacing is still not pretty bad, That you know, that bad in this. Because the money I needed to get the armor that made the next level kind of bearable, it only took me a few minutes to die over and over again and get that money. Um, it did take me a couple planets, but like still. It did not require that I go farm for money in the desert. The amount of bolts they have in crates and with enemies is a lot more than in Ratchet and Clank 2, it feels like. Just in terms of like... Uh, compared with, like, rel relative terms, you know, to whatever weapon is being needed. Jesus Christ, just stop shooting at me. No 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 Okay there we go. Just wanna really quickly get this big upgrade features a lock on mod. To lock on to enemies, press and hold L2 and R2. I want as much experience as I can on this thing. Okay. So, so, so from V2 to V almost 4 in a couple seconds is pretty good. Do they ever stop? I guess not. Wow, they're strong.
When this gets to five, I think it's going to be really powerful. to see if this guy can do it so if he can that would be incredible hey that's a nice about of experience these guys are way too strong oh my god I thought it was dead These are like the, the drone bots in, in Ratchet Gladiator. Like the little buddies that come with you, or maybe not. They just have that sort of body shape. See, suddenly the game is just sort of like, it's tough but fair, now that I have the armor. <sighs> I really don't... I... I don't know. There's only so many times I can say it before it's like, yeah, we get it. One health, oh god. Yeah, and nah, that's not gonna work. Ready to go. Okay. Use left. Why is everyone just left? There they are. They all just hide in. Well, you can't fool me, except you did. Is this sort of saving the progress I made in this room? Like, why is this happening? like making it easier for some reason. Why would it be doing this? Like this isn't particularly difficult. All right, the big guy. Gadgetron Decimator releases a vicious swarm of heat-seeking missiles. Each of the dozen missiles tracks independently. It's funny that it's a heat-seeking missile when the robots are robots.
Worst time for that to run out. I'll just go underneath. I don't give a fuck. Damn, are we at the end? I feel like this is the end. I'll bet you miss your old shield charger, huh? Lucky for you, right? Fuck off. Don't need that shit. I'm God, remember? Security is airtight, so it won't be easy. Alright, I'll get me gadget and they'll use me till you There you go, I'm a little fucker. So there's two whole locations where you're supposed to talk. Actually, maybe the I wonder how many more of those there are. I feel like one of them was like really difficult. Shit. Thank fuck I can lock on. Would never be able to kill this guy otherwise. And it becomes the big gun. There we go.
Ooh, fuck. It's a lot of damage. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I hate that fucking weapon. I killed him as well. Gotta start the whole fucking thing again. This is where, this is, yeah, I remember this shit. <sighs> I just don't have enough weapons. This is the problem now. I honestly don't even think I can... Alright, I'm gonna have to go buy some fucking shit from the fucking piece of shit. Eyeball fucker. Reading that back, it wasn't as funny as I first thought, especially without the heat seeking context. Huh? Reading what back? What did those tyrannoids talk about if one was a robot and one wasn't? Hey, buddy, wanna assimilate into the Borg? Oh, yeah, cool, just let me pass first. I mean, it was, it was comedy, it was like silly stuff. Travel Slim Cognito. Okay. I'll just do that. Wait, shouldn't I be able to get these for free? Yeah. Well, hell yeah. Like Alright. That is very powerful. For being version one. Uh, yeah. I fucking hate that. That's like the most annoying thing. The like, the most ri like ridiculously powerful enemy. You tell me I can't jump out of that one once. The most powerful enemy, um, their attack is not only, like, kills you in two hits, even with the armor upgrade. But, um, the fire it leaves behind also kills you in two hits, and it stays there for a whole second. That's just stupid. I'm so f sick of particle effects, it's just sugar coating. But they always go overboard. Just one sugar, please, not 20. New games definitely have that problem. Like, effects, they just don't know what looks good. They don't have any restraint. They're stupid. The big stupid idiots. Wait, do I have to do this again? Surely not. Surely I don't. Yeah, yeah, okay. Gotcha. No problem, Jack. Don't like that it doesn't auto re equip after I've, you know, jumped a bit.
Yeah, these Ratchet and Clank 2 weapons are really strong. That's pretty cool. And they get leveled up, so it's like, even better. Yeah, with this, I can take these enemies on. Alright, that was a diversion that was worth it. Going back to get those. Oh, this guy. This is probably going to be hard. Sound glitch. Ooh. Oh shit. Thought I had it for a second, but I do not have it. That shield took a beating just then. No, 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 I need to look up, I need to look up, I need to look the fuck up at him so I can fire. There we go. Jesus Christ, that was a lot more difficult than it needed to be.
the uh, bit where you kill Nefarious. The lock-on mod is so fucking powerful. I never really realized, but I can be out of his range. And I can still attack him. Like, what the fuck? I could be doing more damage, though. Plasma core so fucking strong. This is this is cool. I do like this. It does make it a bit easy, but at the same time, lol, who cares? Um, hmm. I didn't even. I haven't even used the rift induce. I bought it. I haven't even used it. Okay. Well, let's. Feels like the shield definitely has a buff in terms of how much damage it can take before blowing up. Plasma Coil version 2? Oh, the Rangers are here. That's cool. Yeah, I only really saw them briefly, but it is a cool thing to see. We'll help you, Ratchet. Yeah, you'll help me. I mean, you won't, but you're here, and that's all that matters.
They're everywhere. They're just everywhere. Um. Where is he? Crackety crackety crick. You know what? Mini turrets. Finish him off. Yeah. I got it. Wait, did it do it twice? Oh, that's epic. Sorry, I'm too busy playing the game. And look, there's Quark's ship as well. I think he's helping. He's probably helping. Fuck. <laughs> Woo! I did it. I beat Ratchet and Clank 3 live on stream in one go. How fast was that? Probably... I'm thinking five hours. Five or... maybe... maybe it's six hours again. It doesn't feel like that much time has passed, honestly. Is there a way to see? What do you mean? Playing the game. Less than five? Wait, what? You already beat it? Yeah. That did feel weirdly quick. I think that's what it was. The level... The levels are not... They're not that long and they're not that... The whole thing is not that big. But... They make up for that in the difficulty? And the many extra shit things you can do. The, the thing is though, Ratchet and Clank 2 had those extra things as well. So <laughs> like if you're just rushing through and you buy only what you need, it actually doesn't take that long. I hate being a squishy. That was terrific. Yeah, great. Change the channel. Uh, but the man said to stay tuned. 
There's only one button on that. Officials believe that an evil robotic supervillain known as Dr. Nefarious is the mastermind behind the Tyranoid attack. As you can see, the Galactic Rangers are putting up a valiant fight, but they are no match for these tentacle-eyed terrors. Indeed, this backwater planet may be completely destroyed in a matter of hours. Donald Gratch, Channel 64 News. We're going home. Why 64? There's in the Solana Galaxy. About four hours, forty minutes. So an hour and twenty minutes quicker than an hour and twenty minutes quicker, maybe even more. We are fucking doomed, Clank. What have I told you about swearing? I do. I hope we're too late and <laughs> everything's destroyed. <sighs> Alright, so I'm, I guess I'm not going to play the whole of this. Um, I don't know. I feel like I should stop. I feel like this is a good cutoff point. I beat the whole game on one stream. I don't need to add anything to that. There's the save thing. So yeah. We got the cheats. We got the skill points. Hey, I can just look like old school Ratchet. Ah, the bolts. Okay, the skins are to the bolts. And you can see what they look like. This is actually a good improvement. And you can buy them. So you can purchase the ones you want. Yeah. I always like the Trooper one. Uh, Robo Rooster is pretty weird. Brainius is pretty cool. Lost Cousin of the B2 Brawler. Bugganoid. Never really interested in that. Tuxedo Ratchet. Lame. Don't need that one. Snowman. Eh. Eh. But I could play as old school Ratchet. I think I'll be okay with current armor for now. So there's cheats as well. So 30 skill points and an unknown one. Uh, and then cinematics. You can look at all those things. So this will be basically a thing, the next millions of, 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 uh, oh, go for hang time. Get two seconds of air with a turbo slider. It's quite easy. Set a new record for Quark. 